Hi there and welcome to my 13th tutorial on Java and in this tutorial I'm gonna talk about a little about the typecasting but also how to create a new class and connect this and use it in your main class. So basically I'll, I'm going to show you a couple of stuff today and um, most of them uh, will be useful to you probably and also um, you'll, uh, you'll know how to connect two or more files you have like those two like this and um, how to use them uh, where you can use them and stuff like this okay so let us start with the typecasting first a typecasting key is used when you want to interchange a values so for example if you want to make the string uh, strings value which is for example string contains some kind of number let's say 20 or 30 and you want this to not be string but a numeric type of variable like a double or integer to make calculations on it for example you have to typecast the value or use the method which is called a value of no i actually don't know if this counts as a typecasting it sort of is and that's why i called it typecasting basically this tutorial there's uh, i will show you how to do the typecasting but this is a bit limited so um bear with me so let's have a string first a string name and for example it will contain some kind of number like 20 and now i cannot simply assign it to my double so for example double and uh, number is equal to name that won't work and you should know that already and also if i were to follow the normal rules of typecasting i will i were to write a string inside a bracket and then followed by name now you cannot do this because those are two different types and this will produce a compiler error and stuff like this so you cannot actually do this but what you can do is say double with the capital letter dot and this is the class double which is a class of of those uh, methods and stuff like this you have a uh, various um, methods or functions which um, allows you to uh, for some for some things but mostly um, we are interested right now is with the value of now value of as you can see there it is value of string if I select this one and I choose name I will get the value of that string into my number which is the double type if I print this so system dot out dot print let's say and number you will notice that this will print out a number which is of double type if i run this you will see 20.0 because it's double so it's changed from string to the double now you can also do this with numeric so numeric to numeric you can say uh, this one is integer and it has also 20 if you want to change it to double it will simply um, you can also do this by double um, integer dot value of and this integer which will be here so pretty much that's how it works with the value of and you have to remember that uh, you have to spell the um, variables like so like this one with the capital letter you start with the capital letter but also it has to be a full name of the variable so for example if you want to use integer you don't say int dot but integer dot so that's a class name and that's how you typecast it of course you can also use the different method with the numbers for example if this one is an integer for example int and I will just delete those which I don't need right now you don't need to do something like this you can and um, you will have to change it but uh, still you can also do something like this int uh, not gene int int and the name of the integer so name I didn't change the name so and something like this this will also change the value for some reason I don't know. <laughs> it works and uh, with the numbers with the numeric it works with the string to numer numeric doesn't also if you have an object you have an object for example so let's say you have an object uh, object I don't know, obj and it equals for example to some kind of string I, I don't know um, red let's say you cannot you can actually cast it to the string so also again the same uh, method will be applied string let's say n equals to 
a I don't know um uh, what is it string I don't know if it's I don't actually know if it's capital or should be like this and obj okay so you can cast it out there uh, like this as well so from the object for example it contains the string red for example you can cast it to the string type and you will have a string so that's how you typecast it basically typecast your uh, values and uh, pretty much that's how it that how it works and uh, also you can typecast the other way around so from from the integer for example to the string so string and now I will show you this as um, integer dot to to string you can say because it does no value of so you can say to string and you simply say this one and the name which is the integer itself and this will convert the integer into the number or into the string which is basically uh, will output it as a string now and we'll treat it like a string so that's how you typecast your values basically I don't know if this process can be called typecasting but it sort of is and therefore I try to, um, to call it typecasting and other methods which I showed you with the brackets is typecasting and it works with objects as well you already learned objects so uh, you know how to use it as you can see 20 Nevertheless, this is the one thing I wanted to talk about. This is typecasting, sort of, at least. And um, the other thing is how to connect your stuff. For example, if you have two files, how to connect them and use them. So, for example, now, if you create another class in here, and which is normal class, a public class, but without a main. So, for example, new class, like this, and just finish it. You have a new class which is empty class with no um, with no uh, let's say uh, methods. You can use this class in here, so you can have multiple classes in here created like this, couple of um, files, and then you can connect those classes which uh, will have possess different information. For example, this one, this can have if you talk about cars, let's say this one is general cars. So you have cars, this one is, I don't know, paint, and the other one can be a bonnet or something like this. It doesn't matter, actually. And so basically, to use this, we can delete this. To use this class, I have to create an object of this class. So I have to say new class, because it's public, so I can use this. New class object equals new and new class like this. So this is an object of this class. It's not object of this class, but of the other one, of this one. Now, I can create an object, which you already know how to do, and use the methods which I create in that class, which is here. So for example, if I create some, uh, let's say have, I'll have a string, or your name, let's say, like this, string your name, and I will have public and the void, let's say, doesn't matter, print, print, I will have simple print and like this, print and just simply system out dot out, system out and print and uh, your name. Okay, like this. So print your name. And this one will contain a get name. So, for example, public. I'll have to make it public to access it with the uh, object. So, public void, let's say, again, it doesn't matter. And get name, let's say. And I'll uh, string n, for example. I will have to have an argument which will basically get the string and save it into your name. So, um, your name equals n so basically this this is the pretty simple class with two methods one variable which is a simple variable you can make it public public or private you can make a private string and um, as you could see it works pretty, pretty fine and um, but make it private or public it will be easier 
for you to understand if this variable should be accessed by the object or shouldn't and stuff like this. So as I pointed out in previous tutorial, this this is useful to do. And now we can say object dot and simply, I don't know, uh, choose um, get value or print a get name, for example, get name. No, we don't have the variable actually. So string, some kind of variable, equal uh, name, let's say equals uh, red, always colors, <laughs> name, name, come on. And so we get the name first and then object dot print. So you will get the name and it will print the name, simple as that. So as you can see, it prints it out red. So it's pretty simple, as you can see. And the connection of those two, you just simply have to create a, a object of this class in your main, for example, on different uh, function doesn't matter, and but it has to be accessed through uh, the main or something like this. You can create more of them, of course, more of those classes and connect them. And um, the the thing is, you can use this for many different purposes, as you can create because you can create your classes in here as well as you learned in previous tutorial, but creating actual different files can give you some advantage of, you know, not messing up with the code, having too many classes or something like this. You can have this class here, which does specific thing. You can just call it here and then that's it. And the different class will do something else and so on. So it's pretty useful if you do it like this. Now, this is pretty much end of the tutorial. Uh, I just showed you the simple use, how you can do this, and a bit um, more about the classes. You, you already know how to create a class, a simple class. Um, and also typecasting it is useful if you want to interchange the values. This will become useful when, uh, for example, um, playing around with the forms. Now, forms, uh, sometimes, for example, when you have labels and, and text boxes, they they tend to ask for the string. I don't know. I don't remember actually if they is if this has to be a string, but probably it has to be. And uh, the text of the text box uh, has to be probably a string. Therefore, if you get the number from that text box, you cannot operate on a string as a, with the number. So you have to convert it, and that's why you you will need this typecasting or value of, for example, uh, whatever you like, um, to change this value into a numeric type and then you can proceed with the calculation. Then later on, maybe you can change it back to the string and output it or something like this. So it will be useful to you when you start with your GUI actually. And it's pretty much useful to know this. And this, uh, I don't know, it's also useful if you want to uh, just separate your parts to, to different parts, your tutorial, uh, not tutorial um, your file, uh, for example, your code, you want to separate to different parts, not have everything in one file which is sometimes, you know, you can have a thousand or two thousand lines of code, which may be, you know, a bit frustrating, I may say, and um, this would be useful if you want to do it like this. Um, it's valid. So this is the end of this tutorial. In the future tutorials, I'm going to talk about inheritance of, of the class and also at the interface. I'm going to show you how to implement the interfaces and also the extents and such and such you know, polymorphism and there's lots about classes so we are going to now do most of the stuff with the classes with the help of classes with uh, with the use of objects and stuff like this so this is more um, not more useful but it's more interesting let's say than simple variables and stuff like this so tune in for my next tutorial which will be soon and um, release probably and it will probably cover something about the inf interfaces or, or something similar with polymorphism or friendships with the classes and it's pretty useful so till the next tutorial visit my web page and youtube channel if you like my videos subscribe on the channel on my videos and i will see you as always in my next tutorial bye